Hey beloveds, welcome to Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So today I want to talk to you guys about six things to consider before moving to Los Angeles. If you are new to my channel, hey what's up, hello, I am Beanie and I do all things God, love, life, spirituality, and all that goodness and I am an actor who lived in Los Angeles for four years so I also do give advice on living in Los Angeles. I am currently partially temporarily relocated back on the East Coast but I just wanted to share this video with you guys really really quick. So six things to consider before moving to Los Angeles. One, location, location, location. Um, Los Angeles City is huge, but you have so many parts outside of like downtown LA, outside of Koreatown, you have Sherman Oaks, you have Burbank, you have North Hollywood. These places are more suburban, they're quieter, for the most part they're nicer, and if you have a car they are not too far from Los Angeles City depending upon traffic. So what so I'm going to be going back and forth about what I wish I had done maybe better for my transition. So I wish that I had explored more options moving to LA. I wish that I knew more parts of California because I ended up living in Los Angeles City and it just didn't go with me. At first I wanted to because I used to live in Brooklyn, I'm in New Jersey so I'm right near New York. Like So I thought that that's what I wanted. I thought I wanted a more like city-like feel. Uh, and then I got to Los Angeles and I was like, oh, but this is gross. Like Los Angeles, if you have never been there, there are some really like just nasty parts, right? And for the most part, depending on how much money you have, you are going to be living in those not so great parts if you want to stay in the center of the city. If you want to stay in the center of the city and you really don't have a lot of money, you are going to be staying in a lot of the hood parts, a lot of parts where like there's dog shit everywhere, there's a lot of homeless people. Like, so that's why I say location, location, location. What kind of feeling do you want to have when you move to LA? Do you want to live in Koreatown where there's lots of places to eat? Lo huge Korean community, right? So there's like lots of boba tea places and barbecue Korean places and um, uh, Korean barbecue places and supermarkets. So if you want to stay there, by all means, go ahead. But you also have like downtown LA. Downtown LA has a lot of really beautiful lofts, but to me, it's dirty, it's smelly, and there's way too many homeless people for me, but there's beautiful lofts there. For me, I feel really connected to Echo Park um, and Silver Lake area. I really like that area of being still in Los Angeles City, but you can compare it to, if you live on the East Coast, you compare it to Williamsburg, hipster area, and I know that it is getting gentrified, which is a good thing and a bad thing. People are always messaging me, where should I live in LA, how far is this from this, that from that. So make sure that you focus on like, okay, do you want a suburban experience or do you want an inner city experience? Because um, I know a lot of you guys, not everyone is living close to New York, not everyone lives near a big city. So if someone from a small town moves to Los Angeles, they're going to think, oh my god, what a, it's so busy and bustling. And I'm like, it is slow as a toad up in here. but. Think about how you want to feel. Do you want a suburban feel or do you want a city feel? Second thing is money. Your money is going to go fast when you move to LA. You're going to have to pay first, last, and deposit when you move into a lot of apartments in Los Angeles. Um, the best way to find apartments, I believe, I, this is something I wish I would have done. I wish I would have gone to LA first. And I wish I would have stayed in LA and I wish I would have stayed there for a week and drove around and rented a car and looked for apartments. Because if you don't have a lot of money, you're going to end up living in the hood. So money and location go hand in hand. So you're going to want to, I, I have a video where I use the 50, 30, 20 rule where I split up my checks 50, 30, 20. At that time I was saving up $5,000. I was able to save up $5,000 in three months or six months or something like that. I wasn't paying rent, I was living here in my childhood home. So I was able to save up a lot of money really fast. But when I got to LA, that money was gone in maybe like 
three months, four months, the time, um, the amount of time I spent making that money is the amount of time that I spent spending that money. I, I ended up moving into my own apartment, so I had to pay for like the apartment fees, and then I had to um, start paying rent, and then I had to buy groceries, and just all the things that come with moving into an apartment that you just get caught off guard. So make sure that you just have a lot of money, and I know like, a lot of people go to LA, some people have $300, some people have $2,000. It really depends on your comfort level. That's not something that I could do, right? But there's a lot of people that are okay with being on, on the couch and, and, you know, just like, you know, trying it in LA um, and like going the, toughing it out. Like, that's not me anymore. So I personally don't subscribe to that. But if that's you, take your $300 and go find an airbnb and make it work for you so the third thing is definitely jobs where do you want to work obviously as an actor i needed something that was flexible so for me i worked retail and i worked at a hotel i did temp jobs so anything that was going to give me the flexibility to go on auditions and call out of work if i booked a job so um that's what i would say if you are an entertainer Oh, the phone. If you're an entertainer, try to find something that is going to be flexible, that your boss is understanding that you are an entertainer and that you are going to sometimes have to call out of work for auditions and book jobs. For me, I did not have the best of luck, like, of the 10 jobs I had in the four years, right? I had maybe two managers that were 100% like, Abina, I get it. You're not here to grow at the company. You're here to pursue your dreams. Like... Other than that, I was having the toughest time with managers writing me up for going to booked jobs or not letting me go to auditions and you can't, you know, it's like you don't want to quit your job because that's how you're paying your rent but then you also like don't want to miss out opportunities because that's why you moved to LA in the first place. So it can get very murky. So I just asked that and actually I met an actress who had an office job and they would let her go to auditions all the time. As long as she did her work, they understood. So. I would say like try to get a job that's either flexible that you like because the thing is a lot of people move to LA to pursue whatever they're pursuing not a lot of people make it so it throws off employers when you're like oh shit she's actually booking jobs like she actually can't come to work for two days because she's shooting a TV show oh shit and it makes sometimes it even makes managers who gave up on their dreams feel like it makes them face themselves like, oh shit, this girl, she just been here for a year and she's already booking stuff? Damn, I gotta look at myself. So sometimes you're also gonna deal with that too, right? You're gonna deal with people who gave up on their dreams and they're trying to stop you from living yours. So I would say try to find something flexible. Let the managers understand. Let your coworkers understand that like you mean business when you move out to LA. And I definitely wish you guys smoother, smoother transitions than me for sure, especially in the job market. Okay, so the fourth thing, the fourth thing I would say you need to know before moving to LA is do you want to be Ubering? Do you want to bring a car or do you want to take public transportation? I'm telling you right now, don't take public transportation. Now Public transportation is like, it's a lot of low income working class people on the buses. The government runs the transportation system in Los Angeles. So a lot of money is not being put into the transportation system. So it's cheaper, right? So a monthly pass for the subway and the train in LA is $100 compared to the $300 for um, in New York City. And I think it's like, also 300 for New Jersey Transit, right? So it's cheap, but you get what you pay for, honey. So if you're paying $100 a month for public transportation, you better believe you're gonna be sitting next to a lot of homeless people. One time this, this mentally ill girl kicked me in my shin. I was like, okay, we kicking shins today? What's going on? So I've seen terrible things on the public transportation. I have so many videos on Los Angeles. Please check out that playlist. But um, I, Towards the end, I said, I can't do this anymore. The energy in on the public transit, on the buses and the subways in LA is a no for me. I'm an empath, I'm a highly sensitive person, and I'm not with the shits. So, um, I started taking Uber everywhere. And it's crazy because I used to think I didn't have money for Uber, and then I realized 
oh no, I had money. It was just my thinking that was lacking, okay? So I was taking Uber everywhere and even that came with the good and the bad. Everything is gonna come with the good and the bad. Do I wish that I had brought my car to Los Angeles? Yes, I do. I do wish that I had just shipped my car out to Los Angeles. Again, that probably would have cost more money, but it would have given me more time to maybe make more money um, before leaving to LA. So if you have a car, I would take it to LA. I would just pay that money and take it there. Really are a lot of very weird, fake people. Okay, so again, being from the East Coast, moving to LA feels like, wait, these are your priorities? This is what you care about? What? And again, coming from the East Coast, I was coming off to a lot of people as rough and tough and mean and it's like no sis you're just sensitive and you're just soft but los angeles is like you you just have to use discernment when you are meeting people i don't know how many weirdos i met like at work to normal people that you would think were so normal and then one time one of my old co-workers he texted me and was like hey abina I need some place to sleep. I don't have anywhere to sleep tonight. I have cancer and my boyfriend is taking care of me and I don't know what to do. Can you help me? And I was like, what is going on? And of course you cannot sleep over. No, <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not inviting you into my dwelling. Are you serious? So another time, some, one of my old coworkers, he came, asked me for $40 and like, I know he spent it on cocaine. I know he spent it on cocaine and um, drinking. I know it, and he never paid me back. But it's okay, because God paid me back tenfold. It's all about intentionality. It's all about being a good person. Um, so you are going to meet people that don't share the same values and beliefs as you. And it's crazy because everyone, almost everyone in LA is a transplant. So that means that a lot of people who might not have had a strong sense of self or they got themselves shaken up. They they take on the values and beliefs of the energy of Los Angeles. It's very weird. Even myself, guys, I got lost in the sauce so many times for a long time in Los Angeles. Like, I got lost in the sauce for real. Got lost in the sauce of like, I just became super, like a super Christian, right? And I got lost in the sauce of hanging out with people that I like wouldn't have probably hung out with on the east coast so i think that when you first move there make sure to use discernment know who you are and if something doesn't feel right then it's not right because there's just a lot of things in la that just like no it this cannot be happening in anywhere else in the united states of america like it only is happening here like what the fuck then you're gonna have a lot of what the fuck moments when you move to la and that's okay that's okay because it's all growing and stuff like that you're you're growing you're like becoming a better person and stronger and all that stuff but you're gonna have some what the fuck moments get ready to get healthy and slow down so before moving to la i was okay no, I wasn't. I was still eating meat and McDonald's and fucking with the shits, right? But I definitely was more conscious of the way I was eating before I moved to LA. And then I got to LA and I was like, okay, non-GMO, organic Thai iced tea, please, with oat milk, preferably. Because I have to go to my kundalini class and then after that I have to go take a hot yoga class. Like that was me so be ready to get really into your health and wellness because it is in abundance there and who doesn't want to be healthy and and wealthy and wellness right but again that discernment thing you have to discern who's rooted in what just because someone does kundalini and drinks oat milk doesn't mean that it's for you or that it's going to help you in your life right so um and i had to learn that the hard way many many times but um, you're gonna get really, really healthy. You're gonna get healthy and you're gonna want a kombucha and you're gonna want to have a kale salad. So that is an awesome benefit to LA is that wellness and health are everywhere. Like you're gonna want to like put a crystal in your bra and you're gonna want to meditate before you go into that business meeting. You are, that's just the lifestyle there. So that is one benefit. I am glad that during my four years, I took my wellness and, and health and healing to a higher level that worked for me. I've been 
um, vegetarian. It'll be two years in February. But while I was in LA for the four years, I was like pescatarian, flexitarian. I don't give a fuckitarian. Like so, but I was really happy to be introduced to all of these new things and taking these classes on healing and health and and chakras and love. So. I was happy that my eyes and my heart opened up to that part of LA so get ready to get healthy and I had to slow down like sometimes I'd be walking really really fast because you know how we do up, up in New York like so I was walking really really fast and then I'd be like okay wait I'm I need to calm down because I'm the only one walking fast on these streets and I had to like start being more positive and saying wow I'm so I you know when you're rushing to run errands running errands like our blessings right and that's what LA taught me is that like when I'm gonna go get a haircut when I'm getting a mani when I'm running groceries these are blessings and they Los Angeles made me slow down and realize that it's a blessing to go be able to get a pedicure it is a blessing to be able to go buy my groceries from Trader Joe's okay it is a blessing to be able to go get a haircut so Los Angeles is going to assist you in slowing down staying positive and um really allowing yourself to enjoy life and the final thing what to know before moving to LA is that you're gonna be okay it's going to be scary especially if like me you didn't have any family there you didn't have any friends there you don't know what you're getting yourself into all you know is that you have a dream on your heart it's going to be okay you're gonna go through tough times you're gonna go through the waters but god got you and you are not going to drown it's going to be it, it like really los angeles i think makes you grow up i say a lot that in new york everyone can be poor and creative in new york you have a community but in la it's a little tougher it's a little tougher to be <laughs> broke in la and be creative and it's a little tough so um you're gonna meet people that fucking suck you're gonna meet people that are gonna encourage you you're gonna live in places that are dope you're gonna live in places that are that suck but all in all you're gonna be okay so i hope you enjoyed this video watch my LA playlist, leave comments below. I love you so much and I hope you have an amazing smooth transition to Los Angeles. I love you.